Whoa, you guys, some things have changed. Hello everyone and welcome to Niche version 0.5.5, the pre-release version of Niche. And there is finally, we should do a little dance because it's so exciting, a official release date for Niche now in the work, September 21st, 2017. I am so excited. Tons of people have wishlist the game. Fingers and paws are crossed that it will hopefully pass the number of cells that it needs in order to have Strafe on Studios, who is the group behind Niche, the little independent game studio who has brought so many hours of enjoyment and adventure to our channel. Hopefully they can meet their sales goals so that we can be able to see even more updates roll out in the future and they can invest resources in continuing to expand the game because I know I am utterly in love and I am so excited for the things that they have planned. And there's still one more Kickstarter goal that has to do with wings, which is why I'm sort of tucking our uh, birds of paradise challenge back kind of under the table until I can see if we get wings or not just in case you guys are wondering where that part of the Bunya tribe challenge went but there's been a lot going on so we're here to get a peek at the preview of the full release now as usual these preview releases might completely crash so it's actually in the notes if you want to enjoy the game and have a stable experience of niche then do not play this version do not play this version this version is meant to have things crash on you and this version is meant to be able to report bugs and to help them iron out some of the code that might still need tweaked in order to prepare for the full release on September 21st, 2017. I almost wonder if we should do some sort of like special niche celebration, celebration, oh my gosh, a celebration that day. What do you guys think? Maybe if I'll have to look at my schedule and see if it's possible, but it would be fun to maybe do like a, uh, uh, like several hour niche live stream during then. That could be really cool. What do you guys think? On the official release, we could do a live stream and we could live stream a tribe together in the new version. I think that could be pretty fun. But today, even though we are not going to start a new tribe and begin a new arc to our many, many niche stories, I thought we would go ahead and dive in and just kind of see what has changed. Well, how the UI has changed. Clearly this has changed. I don't recognize this beautiful island. So there's a pretty little island display. And uh, there's a lot that looks pretty different just with the front page. So let's see, settings. Ooh, even the settings have changed. Oh my goodness. Oh, I still love the little ears up here. Okay, well, we've got going on over here. The language, audio, input. I think we're good there. Uh, there's, oh, there's credits now. Look at all that. And then the Kickstarter, you can have all of the supporters shown there. That's so cool. So if we come over to playing in niche, then we actually have our other tribes. Look, here's the Ukiers. Here's the Bunya tribe. Here's the Dal Dot tribe. And there are two more save slots with this new version of the game, which is very useful. So let's see. We've got one new game, two new game. Let's go ahead and make a new game and see what happens. So we're going to call these uh, the, the Dream, the Dreamer actually because we're not actually gonna play through this tribe we are going to uh, go ahead and just kind of experiment with the update and then we're going to return back to our Yukir and our Dal Dot tribe for our snowy snowy adventures with the Yukir tribe and their prehistoric genes as one of our main stories and the Dalmatian the 101 Dalmatians Dal Dot tribe challenge we're doing and then when things smooth out and we get a little bit closer to full release with this version, then we will come in and make a tribe where we will follow their legacy for quite a while. I have a lot of fantastic challenge ideas for the uh, that time too. So don't worry, we'll have a lot of fun when the official release comes out. But right now, this is the dreamer tribe because we're just gonna kind of poke it and see what happens. So there is story mode where we can experience the story of Adam, who would be the starter male recommended for new players. And that's actually going to include a tutorial on how to play. So no longer do you have to be like my poor sister who I bought a copy of the game for. And she started playing and like killed off her first three tribes. It was so sad. She actually, when she was playing for the first time, thought that it would be really good to get all of the same immunity, but she didn't understand why her tribe kept getting sick and dying because she was like purposely trying to breed so they all had the same immunity thinking that it was a good thing. So hopefully story mode will be able to clarify some of those
those things in a good tutorial. And we definitely will probably poke that in the future, but I'm really interested about sandbox mode. Look at this, guys. You can now pick which island you will start on. You can start on an easy island, a medium island. So the easy islands would be listed as tiny green, peaceful meadow, grass adventure, the archipelago. You could start on a medium island, which would be a burning savanna. <gasps> I've not seen one of those ones yet. That's where the fire is. I haven't even seen the fire yet. You could have rainforest, fur snow, overgrown jungle. You could have swampy hill, the grass mingle. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, imagine starting in the overgrown jungle and trying to do that panda tribe challenge with digger's paw that I mentioned in the Yukio tribe yesterday. That would be so interesting interesting to try to do that and be able to pick your island or if we had the Ukiers being able to pick first snow instead of having to just like run and run and run until you find a snowy island to start on that would be really useful too so hard islands oasis summer mountains long winter crossing sleepy reeds which probably have a lot of those sleeping sickness bugs in them and jungle gate which i don't know if i've ever seen a jungle gate i'm kind of curious about that one too and then the Killer Islands, the Deep Jungle, the Frostlands, and the Deadly Hills. Very cool. Can you imagine how fun it would be to see about just jumping straight into a Killer Island and just starting there and seeing how long we could survive? That would be really, really, really interesting, I think. But I think today I want to start on a burning savanna because I have never seen the fire in Niche. And let's go ahead and just have the Dreamer Tribe. Uh, we'll try story mode in the future, but I, I want to kind of see this burning savanna today in sandbox mode so we've selected all of our options we're going to go ahead and load in this update that i know off the top of my note like off the top of my head and from the patch notes are that we should have a easier time of it with the patterning yeah look at our adam hi buddy oh my gosh he's not his name is not adam anymore <gasps> and her name is not eve anymore oh my gosh and the ui looks so different now <gasps> oh my gosh Okay, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And the music is different. Look, we've got some new bedding. We have the food over here. That's gonna be so weird not looking up. Oh, what's this? What is this? Ooh, you can like zip all over the place. Oh, weird. We've got like two different, wow. Wow, I've never seen the Savannah before. Oh, this is kind of weird. We've got like two different musical notes playing in the background. Look, and here's the ranks. So you can change the ranks easier just by reaching right up here. And it looks like there's already a little bit of, of sickness or damage on her Korra here. But let's get a good look at our Adam and Eve who are no longer named Adam and Eve. That's so interesting. He looks so small. Oh, and their eyeballs are new. I remember that now. Okay, so the eyeballs on our, and they blink. They blink and apparently they even close their eyes at night now. Look, you can see the reflections in the water. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. That is so, so cool. Look at their eyes. They have like real eyes now. <laughs> so their eye movement is supposed to be different. Uh, apparently they're supposed to be like a day and night cycle. Like right now we can hear crickets. Uh, by day and night cycle, I mean like when you go over and finish the day, I think they're supposed to like act like they're asleep during that time, which is actually a suggestion I saw someone give on the Steam discussion pages, the Steam forms for being able to talk about niche. And I was just blown away that they have time and time again added in these suggestions Questions that people have left in the discussion board. It's been really fascinating because like the the new colors of the gemstones that was added in on Twitter. Like I saw someone tweet at the niche team, hey, could you add in more gemstone colors? And sure enough, they did. So I really loved how involved they have been with uh, their community since the get go. I, I, you know me, I, if I could, I would be like, yeah, let's do another Kickstarter for DLC because I love niche so much. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. It looks like we have different markers on their feet this time. So let's see, look at this. You can actually see the immunity to different sicknesses here. So immunity to sickness to uh, A's, I think. One immunity A, huh. Okay, that's gonna be interesting to see. I'm gonna have to like, what? <laughs> look at this. This is cool. It's going to take me a while to get used to, but this UI is so cool. UI, by the way, is called user interface, but look at this, guys. 
This is how the genes are displayed now. Oh my gosh. That's really complex, but it's really kind of nice too because it looks just like a DNA helix. I actually, fun fact, while I record niche to get in the mood for recording niche, I have a pair of silver DNA helix earrings that I wear while I record niche. You guys have probably seen them in my vlogs and I'll try to take a selfie later and like show you guys. But yes, indeed, I do wear DNA earrings. I'm wearing them right now while I play niche so that I can kind of get in the mood for niche. So that's just really funny because here we are and there user interface is now a spiraling helix oh my gosh and that also reminds me if you're looking at the newest update check the achievements and you might see something very familiar like my name like the seers of the sea like we're going to actually try to get our very own achievement on niche in the future guys okay but i'm getting ahead of myself there let's focus on things here but yeah if you want to know more about the achievement that they invited me to actually make a custom achievement for the game then let me know because it's it's totally awesome but all right all right focus siri focus i'm just i'm too excited and i, I don't want to get excited i don't want to get attached to you kook here Rikora. oh my gosh they blink now <laughs> i'm gonna get attached to them and you guys are buggy and i don't know what in the savannah and I may have chosen an area that you're gonna die in. Oh dear. All right, well, Kukir has antlers. He's got a short snout, medium body. Let's see, it doesn't look like anything new there. White fur, the moss brown fur. As you can see, his mane is no longer the same color as his body. They are now appropriate, and his horns, his antlers are not the same color as his body. They're appropriately matching what their genetics should display. And then he has got C and D immunity. She has got A and B, so they don't have home island anymore. I guess that was just kind of an experiment. And so he has immunity to C type sickness. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to pay closer attention to that when we move forward in the game for sure. And then here are the mutations that we can tell them to have. And then here are a whole bunch of the locked ones. So there's a lot of genetics. There's what you can put in high fertility as a mutation. Could you do that before? And it was just like organized so that I didn't notice because that's kind of amazing. Oh my gosh. I wonder if we should restart our Del Dot tribe in like this version. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? It's so hard. It's so hard to decide. I think we're okay with the Del Dots in the old version, but oh my goodness. So we've got like all of the, yeah, it doesn't look like anything particularly new here which is fine, and I don't see, there's the snout, swimming tail, fishing tail. I don't see the, oh, there's the prehistoric genes. So the prehistoric genes are tucked up in here. Okay, noted. All right, so how are we gonna make their babies healthy and get them out there? It's interesting because he has yellow and she has purple, so it's no longer pink and blue for designating if they're male or female. Uh, does he have, yeah, he has the normal bad short-sighted eyes and so does she. So let's go ahead and try to encourage both of them to have healthy eyesight children. So there's the normal eyesight. Good, and then you get to, so you go ahead, click it, select. You find the healthy eyesight. I always have to look out because we don't want blind eyes. Uh, we want just the normal eyesight. And then you can click the check mark to confirm, which I think is very, very good. All right, and then for her, for these guys, for being in the savannah, I think they're gonna want to have like runner's leg and she doesn't have any runner's leg. And I think having double runner's, well, I think passing on claw might actually be useful. What can they pass on? Hind legs for normal speed. Uh-oh, nobody has like webbed hind legs, do they? All right, what kind of hind legs do we have? Normal hind legs and normal hind legs. So we actually don't need to worry about hind legs. We have the deformed paw, but what I really want is just, there we go. So you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll put, he doesn't need runner's leg. Um, do we have anything that he could offer his children? Unless, can you select like, whoa, look at that. I think that might like 100%. I've never, I've never tried doubling the genes before. I didn't know you could do that. So let's see if we can 100% pass on healthy eyes, in which case I wasted one of her mutations, but oh well. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, no, not, I keep thinking this is runner's leg. We're gonna put runner's leg in there. And then let's actually have them do a little exploring before they decide to have some babies. And then, I couldn't, I think their eyes were closed while it was night. Oh look, he found a nest. Good job, buddy. All right, so we'll try to keep an eye on them. 
no pun intended. Haha. <laughs> oh, and little hearts. Yeah, look. So when they are done with their moves and ready to move on to the next day, they close their eyes like they're asleep, like they've done everything they needed to, so they're going to sleep now. That's pretty interesting. I think it would be a little bit awkward if you were like facing down a uh, predator and then your niche just looks like they're sound asleep. But this is really cool. Oh dear. I'm actually really enjoying this little buggy preview. All right, so let's see if the eyes, oh, and the baby can't move. So the baby is actually sleeping, a little female. And sure enough, she does have normal eyesight. Uh, it doesn't tell you if that mutated in or not. But I, I wonder, I mean, I guess technically she would get half her eyesight genes from her mom and half from her dad. So it's still good that we gave her mom that ability too. But you could definitely stack the genes in their favor by doubling it up for one of the parents. So, all right, we'll have to look at that. Oh, oh! What the heck? Hey, buddy, you can't just like romance and run. Excuse you. Oh my gosh. We have a rogue. We have like a, a I have to admit he has really kind of cool purple eyes. <laughs> And he actually has a snout that is the same as Rekora's, so I don't know if she'd be able to be upset. Wow, and look at all of the special little movements. So she's hot, she's warmed up because she's near pack members, and she's also pregnant, so she needs to go in a nest. And their eyes are all closed, and the baby is still sleeping. That's actually precious that the baby, like, now sleeps in the nest. All right, so the baby should wake up now. Yeah, because it's old enough. Oh, no, this guy's sick, too. Get out of here. All right, I don't think that uh, Kukir would be very happy about these developments, to say the least. So we'll go ahead and have uh, Kukir chase away that, that, naughty, that naughty rogue. And I do notice that they both have markings just on their bottom feet. So let's see, no pattern, no pattern. But they both have just a little bit of a marking on their foot. So I wonder what that's about. I'm going to have to like look into that. Maybe ask if that's supposed to be there. All right. <gasps> twins! Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just had twins. And is this like... Oh, that's so cool. So this is so you can like have the alerts for something that happened in your tribe pop up to the side or not. Oh my gosh. I'm so tempted to like actually remake the Dell Dots in this in this version, but I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, so Remy is going to go ahead and clear these pieces off. Cookier is going to chase that rogue away. The rogue also has a little mark on his back foot and so does Remy. So and the babies are still sleeping, but now we have a lot of mouths to feed. Uh, and not a lot of food, <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out what to do. <laughs> oh no, I really don't know what to do because I've never been on the Savannah Island before. So we might end up getting very hungry very soon. Oh, and I think they're actually, because they're hot, they have reduced energy. Oh my gosh, there's another rogue male? Why did no one tell me that? It's just nothing but rogue males. Oh my gosh, and now she's pregnant, and now we're out of food, and I think that they're gonna be a little desperate to feed their babies, unfortunately. Uh, we've got so many rogue males all over the place. I think that Kukir is getting desperate to feed his children. He's gonna have to take on some damage from the cactus, unfortunately, just to try to feed his kids, and they can't even feed their babies. Oh no. We overbred. And definitely, like, Tadu chased this nasty guy away, even though he's not the father of, like, one of their, one of the, the nichelings. Oh, and we need to figure out, how do I, what's this one? Oh, the family tree is beautiful. What? This is gorgeous. Look at this family tree. Oh, no. I might have to remake the doll dots. <laughs> but Pongo and Perdita were so so perfect for starting off on. I, I kind of don't want to make the do remake the doll dots, but oh my gosh, guys. Um, I'm sort of blown away. But where is my options for being able to smell? Like, to smell for if there's food nearby or to like listen for if there's something nearby. I don't see my options for being able to use my different senses, so that could be a problem. All right, and I think unfortunately, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> there's a little bit of food over here. Uh, let's go ahead and have dad, he's gonna run over here. Yeah, having runners like super important for this. Uh, and unfortunately, I, I think that Rakora is gonna have to gather from the cactus because they're desperate to feed their little burgeoning family. And I think that the, it seems like the savanna area is always in this kind of like twilighty sort of light. Uh, very interesting. 
our creatures are definitely struggling and they're having to eat off of cactuses even though they're they're not very good for you <laughs> I feel so bad. My little ones are going to starve, guys. They're trying to dig up roots. We don't know what to do. Our poor mama is just like, oh, no. <laughs> this is so sad, but it's so cool how their eyes close when they're, they're done using up their moves. If I could just smell where there's food, I might be able to send my little ones off in search of food. But unfortunately not. Oh, dear. And then, are you? Oh, wow, she's so pretty. Does she have a beaver tail? Guys, wait a second. Wait a second. The swimming tail looks like a beaver tail now. What? And what are her ears? Wait a second. Her ears look different. She has round ears. She has round ears and a beaver tail. She looks like a tiny little beaver. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to end up killing the dreamers. because ah, I moved without meaning to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Cook here. We don't even have food to offer her to ask her to join our tribe. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? She just came and ate. She just ate. Mercilessly just ate the last of our food right over here. Can we even... We, we can't even... We couldn't even get pregnant with her. We couldn't even like leave a child with her with Taduk. Am I about to kill our dreamers? I think I'm about to kill our dreamers. Because I can't get them off this island. I haven't killed an East tribe in so long. Oh my gosh. There's pain and suffering everywhere. Oh no. You. You're going to be a member of our tribe now. Miss, I'm just going to steal all of your food. Messy. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Messy. I cannot believe. There we go. She is going to carry on our tribe. Because we're just about out of tribe members. <laughs> Messy, where are you from? Where are you going? How do we feed ourselves? We just destroyed a carnivore. But like, Rimi and Kirvanvan are about to pass away. And we just have a pregnant, a pregnant beaver. <laughs> Look at her cute little snout. That is new. Look at their noses. Wow, her face is totally new to me too. So she has the smelling snout so she can smell things from far away. Does that mean when we have her selected, I'll be able to see something? And when it says new gene unlocked, so we now have a new gene that we can mutate, whoops, into the family tree. Oh my gosh, this is actually really nice. I mean, the updates are usually quite intriguing, but I'm just like really enchanted with the combination of everything we can work with and everything we can do now. So let's see. I wish I knew how I could smell and look for food resource resources though, because that would really help me out. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, there's mask, deformed pod, derp snout, round ears, medium ears. So I think round ears are just like normal medium ears. They're just cute, <laughs> and they are cute. Uh, let's see, and then there's tiny pattern. So I wonder what the new gene was. It'd be nice if like when you unlock a new gene, it would show you which one you just unlocked. Maybe it was uh, not runner's leg. Was it like collector or something like that? I'm gonna add runner's leg to her list though because she has one crippled paw. So I'm gonna add runner's leg to her permanent mutations. And I won't make her have a child just yet, but we could really use some more food. So we might have her move around. She's like carrying the last of who's going to be our children. We can't even attack this bush anymore. Okay, we're just gonna have to have Kirvanvan and Rimi in their final moments gather from this cactus. Oh my gosh, there's so much death everywhere. It's so sad. Taku, we'll have you. Oh, he's just gonna have to do cactus life too. This is terrible. And then Masi is just like curled up on the nest. This is this is intense guys. I did not anticipate such a difficult life for everyone uh, Now we've got little Rihanna. I could have sworn Kirvan. I thought you died <laughs> Sorry, he just like erupted like came back from the dead from my perspective So now we have wee little Rihanna and she's beautiful like her mom and apparently she has inherited our dreamer tribe <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it though guys <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I'm having to sacrifice creature after creature to picking cactuses. Is there anything else that Messi can offer Rihanna? The rains have come and they have saved. They have, the, Rihanna's too young to gather fruit. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're desperately like eating the fruit over here. And little Rihanna is staying over there and Messi is gonna have to like go out. Come on, find something for me, Messi. Is there nothing in this gigantic grasslands? Was there really not enough food? Who are you? Oh my gosh, it's Nala. It's Nala, I, I can't get away from my food. Okay, so we were running into some some like stray creatures. Messi, Messi just found like another cactus. Oh my gosh, okay, and she's gonna end up passing away in the distance. Uh, we're just finding all these nests and no food. <laughs> so many nests and no food. Okay, so Savannah, just so you guys know, burning Savannah? Probably not the best place to try to find anything, just for the record, at all. I'm not finding any food. <laughs> I think our dreamer tribe is doomed. Um, and it's been a long time since I have doomed a niche tribe. No! Oh my gosh! Rihanna, you're literally- Oh my gosh, thank goodness! <laughs> we found a berry bush! We found one whole berry bush, and we're gonna let Rihanna become the alpha. I can't believe we're down to one nicheling! Do you guys have any idea how long it's been since I've only had one nicheling? <laughs> Rihanna, I am so sorry! Oh my gosh! And because it's so hot here and she doesn't have heat protection, she's just kind of stuck here. In this, in this awful cycle, the best, what is that? <gasps> that's a fire! Rihanna, that's a fire! There's a fire behind you and her eyes are beautiful, by the way. Oh my gosh. Ah, is that a rogue male? Why? Why? <laughs> she can carry on her legacy now, I suppose, but there's an actual fire behind her. We have like no other food resources. Can I like, okay, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on that fire. Can you do anything about fire or do you just kind of run for it as you can? I'm trying to destroy the berry bush because if we, oh my gosh, it is spreading. Oh my gosh, that's a predator. Rihanna, I was desperately trying to destroy. Look at that. And the fire will like, oh, the fire just got put out. No, but we're being chased by a predator, Rihanna. Run for it, my dear. Oh my gosh, that predator is gonna get us. Rihanna, no, I don't want her to have to die. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's game over. I can't believe I haven't gone game over in a long time, but Savannah is so hard. I had no idea. And that's a medium island? Yeah, that's gonna be kind of tricky. In the future, some of the things we might do for our niche legacies are actually start randomized legacies where we use a random generator to determine which island we start on, how long we stay there, which genes go into the mutation menus, and so many other fun things, which I'm really looking forward to doing. But I haven't lost a niche tribe in so long, but I don't know how I could have survived that one other than like not breeding at all when we first landed here. I had no idea it was gonna be so difficult. And we saw fire for the first time, which was exciting. But you guys, I'm really enjoying this new update. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. I don't wanna start a niche tribe in it just yet, because in the past when I have done that, I have ended up losing the whole tribe because the updates will change things, which is fine. But I'll see if the Dal Dots can actually run in this version, because I really like the improvements they've made to it. So all right. Game over! Our species is now extinct. We can restart the game with the same bloodline, keeping unlocked genes and islands, or we can go ahead and uh, return to our challenges. So I will see you guys next time when we will see how our Yukirs are doing, how the Daldots are doing, and uh, maybe even start poking this version of the game again. And definitely keep an eye out for those achievements, you guys, because we are in there as Seers of the Sea with the Doli tribe, and we are going to try to unlock our very own custom Siri pixel biology, pixel community achievement in the future here in Niche for sure. And uh, keep your eyes out for some more interesting community challenges with prizes that I I'm going to be having coming up pretty soon too. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.